Hi, I am Arjun Partha and I'd like to welcome you to the Druid's Craft Holiday Special. Today I am going to show you how to make your own paper craft Halloween lantern. To make your own paper craft Halloween lantern, you're going to need two sheets of 125 GSM cardstock in the color white, one 95 GSM or lesser tracing paper, one electronic light, a cutter, some glue, and a color printer. It's just as simple as that. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do is go to 3dsvg.com to download the template for our papercraft lantern. Then we're going to search Halloween. And then we go to the second page you'll find here and click on the first result. And this is what your final model should look like. It already looks great here. I wonder how good it will be when we make it too. Now, we have to press add to cart and then we have to go check out. It's really simple to do this and very easy because in this website, you don't need to enter your credit card information or any sort of payment details when uh, checking out an item that does not have a price then we print out the template now a few things you must have noticed when downloading the file is that they are all available in the svg format that means scalable vector graphics however when printing the templates for page one and page two of the template i chose to convert the svg into a pdf format so that it is easier for me to print. And then there was also a third file, namely one that contained the word vellum. You do not need to print that because we are using our tracing paper instead of using that file. Let's cut it out. After cutting out the template for our lantern, we are going to have to fold it. So the first thing we're going to have to do is fold on this line here in the center. So just press it down and over here fold it like this press it down fold it like this press it down and fold it over here and press it down then just prop it up make it stand up see how that looks if it's standing well like this and the folds aren't resisting too much when you're folding them that means you've done it just right if it's resisting too much then you might want to fold it and crease it a few more times Let's keep this aside. Then we are going to take this piece and fold here on this line like this. Now, if you want to make your folding easier, you can cut on this white dashed lines. That means on this white part, you're going to give one straight cut, one straight cut, one straight cut. If you plan on doing this, folding will become much easier for you. But remember, do not cut off this entire part, otherwise it's going to be very hard to assemble your model. So just press it down like that. So when you cut it, it becomes at least 10 times easier to fold it. But you have to be very careful so that no two cuts meet each other. If two cuts meet each other, then it becomes a big problem. So then we just fold it a bit like this, prop it up and if it stands and it does not resist the way you folded it then it's good and when you know it's good you can keep it aside like that and you have finished folding the two parts of your lantern template after cutting out the template for your paper craft lantern you're, you're going to need to make four rectangles on your tracing paper that is one two three and four to make the rectangles you're going to need the measurements of your paper craft lantern here that means from this dashed line to this dashed line and this dashed line till here because the end of the wings they form a straight line here if you connect them all together that is where the end of your tracing paper should go till and if you converted the SVG files into PDF files like me you're going to find that the measurements for each of these rectangles is 6 centimeters into 9.3 centimeters so after cutting this out we're just going to have to go 
and stick it on this. Then we'll be almost done. And keeping that information handy, we are going to go ahead and cut these rectangles out. Now that we have cut out all the parts for our paper craft lantern, including the tracing paper and the template, you must be wondering why I have kept two glues here. And the main reason I've kept two glues there is because of the GSM of the tracing paper right here. It all comes down to the GSM and I only have this one advice to give you. If your paper is below 90 or 95 GSM like my tracing paper, you're going to want to use a glue stick because it's more delicate with that kind of paper and it's very easy to stick with. However, if you have a very high GSM tracing paper like 100 or above, you might want to use this Fevicol MR glue or something like that. So always check the GSM of your tracing paper. Usually it should be written on the boxes or whatever container you're using to buy the tracing paper. So always check that. And remember, 90 or 95 GSM below, you use the glue stick. If it's above 100 GSM, use the Fevicol. Now, let's glue the pieces. And after gluing all the side flaps of our lantern, we are just going to have to glue our base into these flaps and then we'll be done. To do this, we're going to take our glue, put one straight line per flap. Doesn't have to be a complete line, just has to resemble one. Like that. So, three straight lines, start applying. And like I said, always remember how much time it takes for your glue to dry because you get that much time, which I like to call adjustment time. After you spread the glue, you can keep it aside and then just bring this flap up to the top and make it touch there. Then just start adjusting it wiping off any excess glue with one finger or two and it seems i have forgotten to do my five second countdown but luckily you've been nice enough to do it for me haven't you well do you think i'm done yeah thought so too then we can just press it downwards a little bit without bending any of the sides just slowly hit it on your table like that very gently if we do it too hard we can deform the paper that's not a good sign and then we let it dry like that and now we are going to test our paper craft lantern to do this we're just going to take our electric light turn it on and then very slowly just going to kind of drop it into our lantern and we're done now i'm slowly gonna rotate it show you what each angle looks like this is the front this is the next phase this is the next phase and this would be the final phase of our lantern i think this is the ideal way to put it so it looks really good it's a halloween decoration and it's also a very simple gift to make and give to friends or any other people you like. Now, one warning I'd like to give you is that any sort of light source that has fire or anything that can heat up or burn the paper, do not use that. If it's a candle or if it's a dia or something like that, do not use it. It will burn the paper and it will not look good. That's why you can just take your own electric light and the great thing about these electric lights is that they come in so many different brightnesses and so many different colors it's always far far better to use them instead of a fire based light source and now we are coming to an end of this video where i'd like to wish you a very happy halloween 